What's up guys, it's Tommy here and welcome to a brand new Liverpool Transfer News video and Christian Falk, the journalist who is working for the Build newspaper who also reported that Thiago is about to sign for Liverpool when the Liverpool-based journalist denied that Thiago was coming to Liverpool so he's a pretty credible journalist he said that Liverpool are prepared to pay as much as 100 million euros which is 87 million pounds in order to get Jama Musiala the player in red hot form who scored a brilliant goal for Bayern Munich yesterday over Galatasaray in the Champions League and they are Liverpool are prepared to to pay what it takes to get Jama Musiala because he's the next like huge superstar talent he's the next uh, generational talent in the world uh, a la Jude Bellingham. Liverpool don't want to miss out on another brilliant player like they missed out on Jude Bellingham. And the Germany international has been linked with a move to Liverpool over the last two weeks. And the build journalist Christian Fogg said that even though Liverpool have already improved their midfield and attacking areas in recent transfer windows, they are now looking to add Musiala to their ranks as well and that probably is a view to the long-term future of Liverpool. Musiala could be the player who could maybe replace some of Mo Salah's output means meaning goal scoring, assisting and all-round play and Spanish publication Nacional insists that Liverpool's uh, pursuit doesn't get nervous even though Real Madrid are also interested in Musiala and I'm absolutely sick and tired of Real Madrid going for the same transfer targets at Liverpool. First they snatched uh, Chouameni instead of uh, him signing for Liverpool and then Jude Bellingham. So if they make it a hat-trick of snatching another transfer target of Liverpool, I mean, I don't like Real Madrid anyway, but since they beat in the, us in the Champions League, like almost almost every season when Jurgen Klopp went out of the Champions League, it was at the hands of Real Madrid. They knocked us out like three times under just under Jurgen Klopp's uh, managerial reign. And Christian Falk is suggesting that Liverpool are willing to pay what it takes to get Jama Musiala and Liverpool are about to, to be the first club to make a move for the German and national ads that their potential 100 million euro proposal by Liverpool would be quite a declaration of intention by Liverpool. Transfer expert Fabrizio Mano also suggested last week that Liverpool are interested in Musiala but there would be lots of other clubs looking to also buy the youngster if he ends up on the market. Musiala and his agent at the moment halted contract talks with Bayern Munich. They started negotiating back in April with the previous Bayern uh, chief uh, Hashan Salihamidzic but then he was fired alongside Oliver Kahn so Musiala and his agent shelved the contract talks they want to see how much Musiala plays this season for Bayern Munich and whether Bayern plan to build the side around Musiala because if Musiala is not the centerpiece if he's not the main guy in the attacking midfield department then the agent and Musiala will look to transfer to another club where he can be the main man, where he can be playing regularly. And Fabrizio Mano said some reports in Germany are making big claims about the future of Japan Musiala at Bayern Munich. His contract is set to expire in 2026 and at the moment it's true that there is no agreement with Bayern over a new contract. Why? Because at the moment the plans to discuss a new contract were with Bayern's old management, the likes of Ulrich Khan and Salih Amidzic, who both recently left the club. They were preparing a new contract proposal for Musiala, but then the management changed at Bayern Munich. Now there are new people in charge at Bayern so the timing of the contract talks changed but there are still no talks because of this change at the top of the club for Bayern it is an absolute priority to keep Musiala because they know there will be interested clubs in him Liverpool have been linked with Musiala but trust me it would not just be Liverpool there are many important clubs around Europe keeping an eye on Musiala Jurgen Klopp knows the players talent very well but also Chelsea Man City clubs in Spain also know the his talent 
talent and he's one of the best young talents in world football so this is normal it's not about negotiating it's just about following a top young player in my personal opinion he's worth more than 100 million euros i would compare him to jude bellingham a generational talent so of course bayern absolutely plan to extend musiala's contract with an important proposal and they will also try with leroy sane and alfonso davis to extend their contract it's complicated so bayern will see what they can negotiate and neil jones is reporting who is a liverpool Bay journalist that liverpool are already preparing for the potential departure of their superstar mo salah and these links to jamal musiala and other players could be because liverpool are already drawing up a short list of players able and willing and ready to replace mo salah and also who are good enough to replace mo salah leroy sane is another player that we have been linked with so let me know where do you stand on this jama musiala to liverpool transfer story do you think that he would be a good replacement not a direct replacement for salah because of course he doesn't primarily play on the right wing even though he can play there but we need to bring in players who can replace salah's goals and and assists uh, or who can ease the burden on liverpool just mainly relying on Salah for goals and assists. Uh, we need to spread the goals around. And I think Darwin Nunez, Jota, Gakpo, Luis Diaz, they are more than capable of sharing the goal scoring burden. But if you bring in another guy like Jama Musiala, he can easily score 10, 15 goals and get 10, 15 assists per season as well. So hopefully that will be Liverpool's plan as well. And guys, please leave a like on this video if you enjoy it. Subscribe if you are new around here and also support me through my Patreon or you can make a one-time donation. Click the thanks button below the video. Thank you so much for your awesome support. And Neil Jones explained that the topic of Mosul and Saudi Arabia, Saudi Arabia is not going to go away. We know that Liverpool were able to stand firm in the summer, but the noises will start up again before the January window opens. And with Salah now heading towards the final year of his contract, it will be harder and harder for Liverpool to resist big money. I would be amazed if Liverpool haven't already begun earmarking players who can potentially come in if Salah leaves, whether in January next summer or less likely as a free agent in 2025. But it surprises me that Leroy Sané's name continues to be linked with the club the German international is a fine player no doubt but he will be 28 years old in January and only twice in his career he has he hit double figures in terms of league goals in one season both of those were at Man City before his progress was checked by a serious knee injury clearly finding another Salah is going to be nigh on impossible but if you look at Liverpool's previous transfer dealings you can see a clear pattern in terms of the type of profile they would look for 22 to 25 years old 150 plus top level games under their belt versatility in terms of position experience in european competition and both a proven level of output but with the room and the attitude to develop quickly and significantly under a coach like Jurgen Klopp who that might be that's another matter but someone like Sane would represent a shift away from that policy in my opinion I would be wary of those links. So that's why I think the Jama Musiala links are even more credible because he is absolutely exactly the type of profile of a player that Liverpool will be looking to sign in case Mo Salah departs. And already maybe behind the scenes there are there could be discussions between Salah and Liverpool whether Salah wants to stay at Liverpool for another season or leave in the summer transfer window. Maybe Liverpool already know that. We will see how it uh, develops. And um, Michael Antonio, who is speaking on a podcast again, he said that Jared Bowen could be a potential replacement for Mo Salah. I personally think he's not good enough. He's not on that level. But Antonio said he's a bagsman, Bowen. Everything he's touching is turning to gold right now. But hey, it's going to cost some serious dough. Man just signed a seven-year deal. All that money you are getting in from Salah, you will have to give that to us. Obviously, his quality left-footed plays on the right side like Salah. So he probably is like the perfect replacement but it isn't going to be easy to get him out it won't be easy because that's a seven year contract man has just signed and i mean of course he would cost a lot of money because he's english he's playing in the premier league he just signed a seven year contract but liverpool are not looking to sign jared bowen even though we have been linked with him 
Previously, I always dismissed that link. I never even made one video about Jared Bowen coming to Liverpool because I just think he's not the type of player that Liverpool are looking to sign. He's not that kind of uh, profile of player. And Virgil van Dijk said that uh, bringing new ideas and new rituals to his role as a club captain, it has a reason. He said it was something that we did when I was a Celtic player and I always liked it because I thought it set the tone for the game and it also gave the crowd a signal that we were ready to go. It can also help the atmosphere with it being so close to the match starting. So if our fans wanted to join in by building up the noise and adding to the sense of anticipation I certainly won't complain even if it makes it difficult for me to make myself heard and Virgil van Dijk joins a long list of legendary Liverpool captains like Steven Gerrard, Ron Yeats, Emily Hughes and many many others this club has had some incredible captains over the years leaders who would bring the best out of themselves and their team time and time again so to be on the list with people like that is definitely not the kind of thing that I would have expected when I started playing but the most important thing for me is that I am part of the team of leaders individually who find their own way to take responsibility no matter who is wearing the armband absolutely brilliant words by Virgil van Dijk and Alisson is aiming to improve uh, this season and he said that, uh, that this team can improve so much the midfield is only starting to gel we bought in a brand new midfield and Alisson said that we are setting a good course yet it's early days in this new team's reconstruction we are merely three months into a phase that scarcely allows us to claim we are at our pinnacle there's ample room for elevation our strides in matches speak volumes of our potential but the consistent rhythm has eluded us and the unmistakable pattern is that Liverpool tends to concede the first goal this season and at the end of last season more of, most often than not for Alisson whose reputation as a brilliant goalkeeper is globally acknowledged he said it's not slowly about the team's overall performance we need to hold the fort from the start ensuring our defensive action actions are as good as our offensive endeavors um, I'm not sure why Alisson is speaking in such a like colorful like interesting language but maybe he was speaking in Brazilian uh, Spanish and uh, or Portuguese Brazilian and he, it, well, he was translated to English I'm not sure but usually Alisson speaks a little bit simpler simpler language Neil Jones also said this about Jamal Musiala I don't think there is a club in Europe who wouldn't like Musiala in their squad and Liverpool are no different but admiring a player and signing him are two different things as evidenced by the Liverpool's failure to land Jude Bellingham Musiala is of similar level to Bellingham and as such would be very tough for Liverpool to sign both in terms of the finances required and the competition that Liverpool would face his contract situation at Bayern is one that will be monitored and I would expect the Bayern Munich to go all out in trying to keep him he's a jewel in their crown along with Harry Kane and Bayern Munich don't tend to lose such players without a fight that's true but if Musiala wants to leave maybe Bayern in the future then Liverpool could be one of the first clubs who are in for him so we definitely need to keep an eye on this story and I will keep you guys updated so make sure to stay subscribed and Bolo Zenden a former Liverpool Dutch player has said that I, gener I generally think that all the players who come new to the Premier League actually need time to get accustomed to the league to the new country to acclimatize the way that of playing is different than in other competitions the number of matches with the intensity that they are played at is difficult so for Gravenbeck I think that he will gradually start to feel better and that he will certainly be important the only question is what role that will be is he going to play a more conservative role one with more freedom going forward as the defensive midfielder is usually McAllister so yeah Gravenbeck is of course a player who comes with the Ajax DNA who wants to shift and appear in spaces and Dirk Heid said that uh, the Dutch Federation was not really happy that Gravenbeck stayed at Liverpool immediately after signing he was there was an international break but as, as I know how difficult it is to move from one club to another I think he made the right decision to do so it's not that every player should do it every time but this was the right moment to settle in to make things work it's not only about training at Liverpool it's settling in the city I mean uh, moving to a new country a new city it's, it's uh, 
it's a whole uh, process and uh, Ryan Gravenbeck wanted to give himself uh, as much time as possible to get settled into the city so he can start hit the ground running at Liverpool and that's exactly what he has done he has been starting games recently scoring goals getting assists and I think he has been brilliant Jürgen Klopp also gave an update on uh, Andy Robertson's surgery Robo had surgery and all went well we won't don't know how long it will take to recover but at least the surgery went well so now the long road to full fitness begins for Robertson 10 to 12 weeks is usually the recovery from a shoulder surgery like this so Robertson could be back in December or January which is a long long time but it was needed because if he doesn't get an operation then he could re-injure his shoulder and he could be out for the whole season and Liverpool didn't want to take that risk Jurgen Klopp said that Darwin Nunez is a really good moment he took some time to adapt to everything but everyone is very happy with him we made the decision on who, on, of which two could start against Everton, Everton, Luis Diaz or Darwin Diaz's job was to create, Darwin came on and killed the game and that was the idea and it actually worked and I think uh, Jurgen Klopp was uh, really really smart with his tactical um, and um, player selection and Toulouse deserves all of our respect Jurgen Klopp said they have won the French Cup a massive thing this year a young talented team they have a clear idea but we have to see how they show up they got a point against PSG which is obviously a massive one we have to make sure we are ready for the game but then it's about us that we really create an atmosphere with the way we play and I mean Liverpool even with a changed lineup we absolutely should beat Toulouse because there is everything to lose for Liverpool in this fixture against Toulouse <laughs> just to include a pun for you guys so I'm really looking forward to the rest of the Champions League game to today and tomorrow the Liverpool Toulouse game is going to be interesting as well and I have five aside football on uh, Thursday evening as well uh, so I'm really looking forward to that as well thanks for watching have a nice day see you later good night